Hi there! In this video, we're going to look at transformation geometry. We've already introduced transformation geometry, so you will remember it is about movement of shapes. In this video, we're going to look at reflections. The reflections could be in the y-axis, like a mirror image of in a mirror, or they could be in the x-axis, a mirror image in perhaps a pool of water. So, we are going to look at reflections in the y-axis, and we are going to look at reflections in the x-axis. Hopefully you have an idea of what you're getting yourself into now. Transformation geometry is simply a section of mathematics like algebra or Euclidean geometry. We're still busy introducing it and we will use it in further transformation geometry and in other sections like functions and graphs. So we're going to look at reflections in the y-axis on a graph and we are going to reflect the triangle x, y, z in the y-axis. So along this line, like folding on this line, imagine your triangle is blue wet paint and you fold on this line, you bring this side over, you press it flat, what does it look like when you open it up? That is a reflection in the y-axis. So to do this mathematically, we're going to have a look at this point and we're going to say how far is it from the y-axis? Move that distance again to the other side. And we get the point x dash or the image of x. The coordinate of x is minus 4, 2 and the coordinate of x dash is 4, 2. What do you think will happen when we move the point y? Well, how far is it from the y-axis? Because you want it to be that far again when you move it. There it is. Coordinates. Hopefully you can still read off coordinates to get these two points. Let's look at the point z. Z is very close to the y-axis, and so just move it the same amount to the other side of the y-axis. Z's coordinates. Now that you've got your three points, you can draw your image shape, your reflection in the y-axis. And hopefully you can see that the changes, while well, the y values have stayed the same, but the x values have all changed sign. So in other words, a reflection in the y-axis changes the sign of the value of x. Let's have a look at what this looks like when we move it. There we go. You can see how it reflects around the y-axis. Okay, let's look at reflections in the x-axis. So we have a set of axes and maybe a triangle and we want to reflect triangle x, y, z now in the x-axis. So again, imagine your triangle is blue paint and you've got this line x that you want to fold it on and you want to press it through to the other side. What will happen? Well again, work point by point. How far is x away from the x-axis? Move that distance again. How far? What is its coordinates? How far is y away from the x-axis? Quite close. Move that distance again. Y's coordinates? Are you starting to see patterns between the original coordinate and the new coordinate that is made? Notice the x values are staying the same, but there are changes in the y part of the coordinate. What about z? Again, quite close, but the same distance. Move it. Okay, so now instead of left to right, like in the y-axis, we're moving up and down. You've got your three coordinates now, hopefully you're seeing patterns from the original to the inverse, or the image, and we can draw our triangle. Can you give me a general form of how a reflection in the x-axis would look for the point x, y? Did you say x will stay the same, but y sign will change? Okay, let's have a look at what this looks like if we just take those triangles and we reflect them around the x-axis. In summary, a reflection in the y-axis moves you to the left or the right of the y-axis and the x-value changes in sign. When you are reflecting in the x-axis, you're moving above or below the x-axis. In other words, the y-value is changing in sign. Hopefully you're feeling good about reflections.